Solid state or SSDs are a major upgrade to your system. They're leaps and bounds ahead of hard drives and are getting cheaper. But not all SSDs are created equal though. So today I'm going to review the 120 gigs SSD and give you benchmarks, results to make your choice a little easier. Note that this is not the latest nor the fastest in the market, but it is one of the least expensive, being only about $40. This is the ADATA SP550 review and benchmarks. Now I could read the spec sheet out loud, but that's not going to help anybody. Basic thing to know is that it's 120 gigs and SATA 3. Now next I would talk about the aesthetics, but all of them look pretty much the same with varying graphics on the front. It's not the prettiest thing ever, but you can hide it or put on a skin. The ones I bought came with this frame thing. Maybe it's for design, maybe it's for mounting, I do not know. Now for further consideration, I'll be comparing the results to the Kingston UB400, which is around $50. The spec sheets for both of them are on the screen if you want to compare. The benchmarking software we used were Crystal Disk Benchmark, Addo Disk Benchmark, and our own boot time as well as copying and pasting a 5GB folder for transfer speed. Hopefully this will give you an idea of how the SSD performs. First off is Addo, and using the default settings on both drives, we got this graph that shows the read and write speeds. Surprisingly, the SP550 performs almost double in read speed and far better in write speed. Next is Crystal Mark, which gives us a more in-depth results. The overall score for the UB400 was around 32,255, which is around 8,498 less than the SP50's 40,753. The read and write speed is almost double like before, and the random reads and write speeds are all kinda over the place. But clearly the SP550 trumps over the UB400. Finally the transfer speed and boot up time, which gets a little tricky and weird. The UB400 strikes back being about 500 seconds faster than the SP550's 15 second speed. The transfer rate time is similar taking about 1 minute and 45 seconds, but to be expected the SP550's hit speed up to 200 megabits per second while the UB400 only went up to 100 megabits per second. The graphs and times are a little weird, but the benchmarks are very real since we are using our components like we would normally do. We had other applications open and the background apps running, plus they were on different computers with different components. This isn't a fair test, but it is realistic, since all of you have different computers with different uses. Thanks for watching my review on the SP550 and the Kingston UV400. Hopefully next week you'll see another video dealing with SSDs. As for now, like, comment and subscribe for more videos. Speaking of which, you can watch another video right here.